Good morning, everyone. Opening song is out of the smaller book, number 490. 490, Like a Shepherd. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock and gathers the lambs in his arms, holding them carefully close to his heart, leading them home. Say to the cities of Judah, prepare the way of the Lord. Go to the mountain top, lift your voice. Jerusalem, here is your God. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock and gathers the lambs in his arms, holding them carefully close to his heart, leading them home. I myself will shepherd them, for others have led them astray. The lost I will rescue and heal their wounds and pasture them, giving them rest. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock and gathers the lambs in his arms holding them carefully close to his heart, leading them home. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. As we gather at this Mass, we pray in a special way for the repose of the soul of Pam DeLotte and the special intention for myself. For the times we fail to love God as we should, we bow our heads and ask for his mercy, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who manifest your almighty power, above all by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us, and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Haggai. In the second year of King Darius, the word of the Lord came by the prophet Haggai, saying, Speak now to Zerubbabel, son of Shaphiel, governor of Judah, and to Joshua, son of Jehozadak, the high priest, and to the remnant of the people, and say, Who is left among you that saw this house in its former glory? How does it look to you now? Is it not in your sight as nothing? Yet now take courage, O Zerubbabel, says the Lord, Take courage, O Joshua, son of Zehozadak, the high priest. Take courage, all you people of the land, says the Lord. Work, for I am with you, says the Lord of hosts, according to the promise that I made you when you came out of Egypt. My spirit abides among you. Do not fear, for thus says the Lord of hosts. Once again in a little while, I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land, and I will shake all the nations so that the treasure of all nations shall come. And I will fill this house with splendor, says the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine, and the gold is mine, says the Lord of hosts. The latter splendor of this house shall be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place, I will give prosperity, says the Lord of hosts. The word of the Lord. Hope in God, I will praise him, my Savior and my God. Hope in God, I will praise him, my Savior and my God. Vindicate me, O God, and defend my cause against an ungodly people. From those who are deceitful and unjust, deliver me. 
Hope in God, I will praise him, my Savior and my God. For you are the God in whom I take refuge. Why have you cast me off? Why must I walk about mournfully because of the oppression of the enemy? Hope in God, I will praise him, my Savior and my God. O oh, send out your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy mountain and to your dwelling. Hope in God, I will praise him, my Savior and my God. Then I will go to the altar of God, to God my exceeding joy, and I will praise you with the harp, O God, my God. Hope in God, I will praise him, my Savior and my God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Son of Man came to serve and to give his life as a ransom for all. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Once when Jesus was praying alone with only the disciples near him, he asked them, who did the crowd say that I am? They answered, John the Baptist, but others, Elijah, and still others that one of the ancient prophets has arisen. Then he said to them, but who do you say that I am? Peter answered, the Messiah of God. Jesus sternly ordered and commanded them not to tell anyone, saying, the Son of Man must undergo great suffering and be rejected by the elders chief priests and scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the words of the Gospel, wipe away our sin. Amen. We continue to read from the book of the prophet Haggai, in which God reveals to the people the importance of placing him and his house first, and that that should be their focus. Why? My spirit abides among you. Do not fear. It's these powerful words of God's ongoing presence, a God who accompanies us, excuse me, a God who accompanies us each and every day of our life. Even when we don't feel his presence, the Lord is close to us, closer than the breath we take. And this same God asks us the question as he asks the disciples, who do you say that I am? It is important for us to recognize the fact that Jesus is who he says he is. And it is up to us to either participate in that same faith or not. Now the latter is disastrous, of course, but the reality is faith is not only a gift, but it's a choice. And as so many have walked away from faith, God reminds us that no matter how hard our life is, he is ever present. He is always there. And while we may not feel his presence, it is he who sustains us. Not gold, not silver, not power, not money, not anything else, not other people. The only person who cares about you the most is the one who died for you. And so as Jesus prepares his disciples for his coming death, he reminds us, because we know the end of the story, the Paschal mystery, the dying and rising of Jesus, helps us to recognize that God abides with us, Emmanuel, which is not just an Advent concept, but a daily concept. And so may we call upon this Emmanuel, a God who is with us, to bless us, to fill us with his grace, and to help us this day. Trusting in God's sovereignty and love, we approach him with the needs of our world and of this community. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the church here on earth, May we increase in faith and number, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, may God instill in them the virtues necessary to lead with truth and justice, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all essential workers, may the Lord bless them with fortitude and perseverance, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our community of faith here at St. Joseph, may the graces offered by receiving Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament Unite us ever more closely to him, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, especially in our great diocese, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially Deacon John Gillespie, who will be buried from Holy Rosary Church in Thorold, who served our diocese as a deacon of our church. We pray for Pam, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died. May they find eternal rest in heaven in the arms of Jesus, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we verbalize to God from the silence of our hearts. Loving God, we trust in your knowledge, love, and mercy. We recognize your ongoing presence in our life, and we thank you for that ever presence with us. Hear these prayers, which we offer in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, O merciful God, that this our offering may find acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us, through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, his death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember your servants, Pam and Deacon John, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, our husband, with your blessed apostles, with the prophet Haggai, with Saint Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all your from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally Come at least spiritually 
into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May this healing mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be co-heirs in glory with Christ, to whose suffering we are united whenever we proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.
Good Saint Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old, you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us one and all under your continual protection so that by your help and example, we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go forth in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock and gathers the lambs in his arms, holding them carefully close to his heart, leading them home. Come unto me, if you are heavenly burdened, and take my yoke upon your shoulders. I will give you rest. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock and gathers the lambs in his arms, holding them carefully close to his heart leading them home, leading them home. God bless you. Have a good day.